Welcome back to Cyber CF Galilee DSMME on this Friday, August 20th. Several times this week, you will remember that we have said this is a week of saints, and Sister Merced has brought that out very specially. And today is another great saint. And also the other commonality is that the saints love Mary. So here she is with her son. Because our saint today had a very strong bond with his mom. And our saint today is Saint Bernard of Clairvaux because he will eventually establish the monastery in Clairvaux. But first of all, let's go back to his relationship with his family. It was a very close, very religious very uh, down-to-earth, um, noble family, and he was very close to his mom. And I think much of his spirituality really shows that closeness to his mother, how so probably most in his tender devotion to the mother of God. Also, I think he had many qualities that he learned from his mother, how to get along with and bond with people very, very specially, kind of with empathy and sympathy and to really kind of get into their souls, so to speak. And why would I say that? Because it was when his mom died that he decided to enter the Cistercians. The Cistercians were very strict and still remain so today in many ways. And he wanted to give God everything, probably in large measure because he had seen that gift given by his mother. And so he was so adamant about this and so on fire with love of Jesus and Mary that he's talked about it and he exuded it. And by the time he actually went to the monastery to enter, he had his brothers and he had a group from the neighborhood. And there was a gang of them that actually went and asked to enter. Now, this was pretty much unheard of. Usually you kind of go by yourself. Well, that wasn't enough for the heart of St. Bernard. So he gathered a bunch around him, even relatives, as I mentioned, and they entered the Cistercians. Because of his incredible faith, his prayer life, his leadership, the, all these things were used very specially in his lifetime. And we could go on and on with the way that God chose to use him, but just one thing in particular, he was chosen to found the monastery, Cistercian Monastery there in Clairvaux. In no time, it was overfilled with vocations. And I think that's a beautiful thing for us to think of today. Who is the mother of all priests and the mother of all religious women and the sister of us too, the mother of God? And so those of you all that are either trying to figure out your vocation or you, you parents who are raising your children to, and you're saying, do God's will, you know, sometimes you might say that too often, maybe you don't say it enough, but whatever the case may be, just go straight to the mother of God. She helped Jesus become who he was supposed to be. How so? In her humble, faithful manner, he saw fidelity. He saw doing the Father's will. Her yes is something we will never understand when she was asked, would she be the mother of God? And when she gave that yes, she gave the entire rest of her life. She gave herself away in one word, yes. And from then on, she lived totally for God. And there is so much about Mary that we wish to emulate. And I think that's why any good man, and I know a bunch of them, many of them are priests, they have this tender-hearted, a filial love of Mary as their mother. And I think that's why my priest friends and yours too probably are among the best priests in the whole world because they get it. They love the mother. They love Mother Mary. So on this beautiful feast of the great Saint Bernard, who too became a doctor of the church and wrote so many overflowing with love kind of um, just exuding love in so many manners, wrote on the Song of Psalms, wrote on the, the Psalms themselves, wrote on so many beautiful, beautiful things. Um, but very specially, we think of the tender devotion that his heart held for Mary. And from that blazing heart, he became like a light to attract young men to religious vocations and working with young women to their religious vocations as well, and certainly also to the vocation of marriage, to whatever was God's plan. 
He gave them a fearlessness by which they would run towards God, just like the mother of God. Be it done unto me according to your will. Signing off from Cyber Sea of Galilee, DSME, right with Mary and her son.